so far, almost everything we've done has been with proportions. That's going to be what we're going to do for this question. We're going to use proportions. The only thing so far that isn't using proportions is our Celsius and Fahrenheit formulas because they don't increase in the same way. Doubling one doesn't mean doubling the other one. So what we have here, we want to convert pounds to kilograms. Eva caught a 5.5 kilogram cod on holiday in Labrador. We're going to figure out what that is in pounds. And then we're going to look at some other calculations in changing from pounds to kilograms. So kilograms to pounds, again, we'll set up our proportion. So we want to figure out how much it is in pounds. We write out that's what we don't know. And we know that it's equal to 5.5 kilograms. We go to our formula sheet. Do you have something that has pounds and kilograms? 2.21 pounds is 1 kilogram. There's two formulas, and it doesn't matter which one you use. They're both going to work. Now that we've set up our proportion, we'd have to multiply both sides by? 5.5. 5.5. And we find out that x is equal to 2.21 times 5.5. Twelve point one five pounds. One five five. So I guess I should round this to twelve point one six pounds. Notice that here they used two point two and we used two point two one because we were using our formula sheet. So depending on what formula you use, there's going to be different estimations. 2.21 is more accurate than 2.2, just because it has more decimal places. But we get roughly the same thing. It'll give you a lower number. That's why they got 12.1, and we got 12.16. For part B... The biggest cod that her cousin Ray caught was 29 pounds. We want to calculate how much that is in kilograms. Again, as an estimate, we know that one kilogram is about two pounds. So if I was estimating, I'd cut that in half and say I'd estimate it to be about 14 and a half, 15 kilograms. It's going to be a little bit less than that. But now when we go to calculate, we want to find how many kilograms, and we know that it was 29 pounds. It's a pretty big fish. Setting it up on the other side, we know that one kilogram is 2.21 pounds. We could use that formula again. I'm just showing you that you could use this formula over here. They chose the other formula, the 0.45. So we're going to just look at how it, how it changes if we use one formula or the other. Yeah? Okay. Well, they're both estimates because they've both been rounded. If we want to find the exact answer, we can go on the Internet and, and write it in. They'll have more decimal places. So let's, let's figure out ours, and let's figure out how close it gets. You would have to multiply both sides by 29 and by 29. 29 divided by 2.21 is 13.12. So we got 13.12 kilograms, and they got 13 kilograms. So they're relatively, or 13.16. They're relatively close. If we go to the internet, and you write, convert, what were we converting? We wanted to convert pounds to kilograms. And what will come up on Google is a calculator. And notice the one formula that we have is 0.45.
the actual formula is 0.453592, and there's more decimal places after that. So if you wanted to get an exact value, you go on Google, we go 29 would be 13.1542. And that is a more accurate. No, you're not allowed to, on the quiz, you've got to use your calculator, so you have to set up your proportions to figure it out. But it's nice to know that you have, if you need Google, you can find it quicker. And if you've got a smartphone, that might be the quickest way to convert something. There's also apps that you can download that do conversions for you. But it's good to understand how and why they work. So which fish has a greater mass? This one, 13.12 kilograms compared to 5.5. It's quite a bit more. It's about 7, 8 kilograms more. So if we look at the answer in the textbook, sure enough, they just subtract the two. You can either say it's 7.5 kilograms more, or if you subtracted the two in pounds, you could say that it was about 17 pounds more. So your turn. There's two questions at the bottom there. See how you did. When you have fractions, what I would suggest is changing them to decimals. If you go to your calculator and do 1 divided by 4, you get 0 0.25. So we learn that this is 2.25. 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. And 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25. I've got three different colors there, so we can do each of these in a different color. We want to find how many kilograms. So when we set up our proportion, we want to know kilograms. And for the green one, for the beef, we know that it's 2.25 pounds. We go to our formula sheet. And you can use either formula. So if I use the one that says 1 kilogram is equal to 2.21 pounds, I've set up my proportion. How do I solve this proportion? I would multiply both sides by 2.25. And then 1 divided by 2.21 times by 2.25. Type that into my calculator. And I get that. It's equal to 1.02 kilograms. In other words, if you're rounding on a recipe, you'd probably only use one kilogram. For the blue one, again, I want to know how many kilograms is 0 0.75 pounds. One kilogram is 2.21 pounds. Type it into my calculator when I multiply both sides by 0.75. And I get 0 0.34 kilograms. And finally, the red one, we have 0.25 pounds. And it's equal to 0 0.11 kilograms. So there's part A. I've color-coded it for the three different ones. Another one says it needs 1.75 kilograms of ground beef. I'll do this one in black for part B. We want to find out how many pounds. And we know we've got 1.75 kilograms. Go to our formula sheet. And we know that 2.21 pounds, 1 kilogram, multiply both sides by 1.75. And we get 3.8675, 
which if I round it is 3.87 pounds. So you've got two practice sections to practice from on the job one and on the job two. Something to work on over the weekend. Again, I'd recommend about 15, 20 minutes a day practicing these. You can come in at lunch if you're having trouble. If any of the, if your numbers aren't working or you can't figure out your calculator, make sure you come in and ask questions.